Well, I bought an army trailer. This isn't something I was gonna film, but I had like close to 20 requests to film this. Um, a heap of you guys that follow me on Instagram and stuff would have seen that I posted a picture of this trailer, this ex-military trailer the other day. And yeah, I decided to get the camera out. Um, I don't know how the audio is gonna turn out on this because I'm in a yeah, big shed here on the farm and it is pouring rain right now. Um, finally, after three months with no rain on the property, it's um, so good just to see the rivers filling back up, the dams filling back up after such a dry summer. Um, still is summer, but yeah, it's just good to see a, a break from the heat. So I'm also, I was getting so concerned about bushfires and stuff like that, and I'm sure a bunch of you guys have seen on the news how bad it's getting over here. Luckily, where we live, we're in a little tiny wedge that's very isolated. So along the whole east coast, it's just been fires like crazy. So it's good to see the rain finally. So. I bought an ex-army trailer. So this trailer is, uh, the Australian government's been selling a lot of Unimogs, um, Land Rovers, 6x6 Land Rovers, um, aircraft bits and pieces and stuff like that um, to the general public. And they've been doing that for a few years. We have a Unimog here at the farm as well. I've been using it as a water cart. Um, but I ended up buying this trailer from a guy who um, lives, uh, lives up the Hunter Valley. So I ended up picking up this trailer for him for about 800 bucks. They do go cheaper from the auctions, but um, I kind of didn't want to stuff around with shipping it and trying to, and all that kind of drama and get all going to pick it up. So I thought I'd just buy one local. This guy had like seven or eight up there at his place. Um, so yeah, I paid 800 bucks for it. Um, it's cheaper than what I was going to do. I was going to turn the F-250's tub into a little sort of camper trailer. Um, so, long story short, why I'm doing this is because um, my daughter absolutely loves the rooftop tent. She loves the Bush Company tent. So, because there's just not enough room for me and the missus and her up in there, I've decided that I'll buy a little trailer like this. I'm going to fab up some roof rack system for it on the roof, so like a ladder sort on a rack. And then I've already bought the rooftop, which I'll show you at the end of the video. And we're gonna put the rooftop on top of that and then probably put a couple of awnings down the side. And then we can tow this trailer behind the F-250 when we go camping. She's got her little rooftop tent. We've got our rooftop tent. I can use the trailer for other things like extra water or fuel or even having firewood, chainsaw and stuff inside of it. I'm thinking about boxing the top section in with some mesh or something later so it's lockable in that. But for now, we're just gonna do a rack system for us, trying to get it done before Australia Day long weekend. So yesterday afternoon, I spent probably about four or five hours on the trailer. Um, I didn't film any of it because I wasn't really gonna put this on the channel. Um, maybe later I was gonna show you guys, but with such the demand that I got from you guys um, that wanna see me doing the work on this, so. Brought the camera over. I've even stepped up my game. I've got a new mic, which is powered and stuff. So let me know how the audio is. I've also got a light here, making me look beautiful. <laughs> so trying to step up the, the quality for you guys. I don't know how the audio is going to turn out with the, the rain right now in the shed, but. Righto, so these ex-military trailers, the Australian ones, they come out with a round ring pintle hitch. Um, I don't want to use that thing because they just bang around when you like accelerate and you brake. They flop around inside that, that hitch. So I've um, spent the afternoon yesterday actually welding this bad boy here together. So I just cut out some plate, made a new hitch receiver to put a just a standard sort of ball hitch on it for now. I probably will put a DA35 or something like that on it, like I do on my big um, plant trailer that I have, my big deck over. But for the, I think they're like four or five hundred dollars for a DA35, and I just can't justify it with the trailer yet. So maybe later um, we might do that. So I've done the hitch, give you guys a closer look. So pretty much just oxid all this out. And guys, I'm not a boiler maker at all. The best qualifications I've got for boiler making is I come first every year in high school. 
that's about as qualified I am. So I'm not an expert in this. So I just, yeah, spent a lot of time with work and stuff, welding a bit here and there. So anyway, we've oxyed this out. We've drilled all the holes, um, made these little gussets here. So that's a pretty strong hitch, guys. Um, I didn't want something that would possibly break. So we've um, gone with a nice thick plate. I think it's like 10 mil plate. So she's pretty, pretty beefy, but um, yeah, so these trailers, I know you guys are gonna roast me for this, but I, um, I actually started painting it the other day and I regretted it as soon as I did. So I was trying to just freshen it up a bit and then I realized I actually like the patina. So I'm slowly getting it back off. I've just been spraying some, some chemical stuff I've got on. It's gonna strip the top layer of paint, but it won't strip the original paint. So I've nearly got it all off, but yeah, a little bit more to go yet. So Normally these trailers come with like a cover, a canvas cover over the top. Um, but at the auction, it's so hit and miss what you can actually buy. So you may get some with covers, some without, some may have the cross braces for the cover. It's really pretty much whatever the army's got, whatever they're selling at the time. So if you're interested in one of these trailers, I'll put a link in the description to um, Australian Frontline Machinery. So I have already put a seven pin plug on. That's what we use here in Australia. Um, I haven't cut it to length yet. I've left it a bit long. Just because I don't have the F truck home, it's still getting the power installed. So as soon as it gets home, then I can just trim these wires back, shorten it to the right length. But I just used the Raptor to um, make sure the lights and that were working. Um, the guy that I bought it from actually cut the old big massive round one that they use in the army, cut that off. So I don't need that. So that's been taken off. Um, what else have we got going on? So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead now and I'll show you guys the racks that I made yesterday to go on there. I've got to fully weld them up, so I'll do a little bit of welding this afternoon. And yeah, so enjoy. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I know brain. brain. Marvin Divine. Uh, I'm saying bye to all the lies and all the times you cried Saying that I wasn't right, Jared, I was right by your side You manipulator, playing games, your friends commentators And I don't know what you say about our private conversations But it's got them hating, thanks for all the rumors you be claiming It's cool, I'm done with you, so they can throw you a celebration You gon' hate it when you see me with somebody living better I'm trying to tell you that me just do it, me gon' have you jealous uh. Radio, so I've got everything now welded up We're back over at my shed now um, I've put these brackets on there just in case I ever want to carry something on the, the rack, but also I want to mount a just a cheap awning to the side of the uh, the trailer. And here comes the rain again. So I've just got some, um, these military trailers don't have any mud flaps. So I've just got some good old super cheap mud flaps, some long black ones. Has got the hardware in there to mount them. And then I've also got some um, some chain just to retain them back so they don't catch on the wheel and get torn up and over and get bent. So we're gonna go ahead now and try and get them on. But uh, yeah, bloody rain's good. Stoked it's raining. We need it bad. So that's um pretty cool. I've just tried to fit up the mud flaps and they actually uh, fit <laughs> perfect. As if they were made for it. They are the um, two-piece full drive mudguard set. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I know brain. Marvin Divine. Uh, I'm saying all the so it's now Monday. We did end up getting the trailer finished and getting it all together. So it's the Monday after the Australia Day long weekend. Um, we went away. Um, I can't win going camping lately apparently. We, uh, <laughs> we ended up driving home. Sorry about the sun. We ended, up, uh, we ended up driving home last night and got home at around midnight just because it... Uh, 
this freak storm whipped up last night at Glenbourne Dam up the valley and it was it was crazy like it was to the point where there was just quick shades going everywhere there was still boats out on the lake um, I wish I filmed all this it just got so crazy so quick that I just didn't have time to um, grab the camera out because I was just we were trying to hold quick shades down and all the rest of it but I'm gonna make sure that <laughs> next time I go camping I'm gonna rig up a GoPro and have it on my head strap ready to go because I think it'd be quite entertaining uh, for the channel but anyway yeah so we did up go away it was a really good weekend um, we got a little bit of rain um, with an afternoon few storms come through but last night was crazy it was absolutely hectic we ended up just packing up and leaving and I think about 90% of the people there end up packing up and leaving too so but we did get the army trailer done so I'm gonna give you guys a look now so there's the tent We got all the bar work all painted up. We got a regode, so it all went all went down pretty good. Had a little bit of a hiccup at the registration just because these ex-military trailers don't have any sort of numbers and stuff on them. Um, the numbers are very vague because the government didn't register any of their their military equipment or army equipment or whatever you want to call it. So, but yeah, we got all the rails. They're all painted up nice and black now. We've got this little rooftop tent here. So these tents, you can get them on eBay, they're about $1,200. I bought this one up um, from one of one of the guys that I know um, that also got a Mitt's tray done, Mitt's canopy done. So he gave me this one for about 700 bucks, I think it was. Um, but yeah, you got it all painted up. We'll show you the hitch. So just got a normal, a normal ball style hitch on there. I may put a DA35, like I mentioned, on it, on it at a later period, but for now, yeah, got the plug done, plug's all wired up, got the uh, safety chains and that on there too. So I uh, just got a ladder, so the ladder just clips on the side like that, and they can uh, get up into the tent. And yeah, pretty roomy tent, it's like 1400 wide, so yeah, it's a cool little tent, does the job for the kids. So if you're interested in the tent, That's the brand. I think if you just look up um, on eBay, hard shell rooftop tent, it should come up. So also put on this, just this leg here with a quick release um, in case I've got to just take the trailer off the F truck and maneuver it somewhere else where it's nice and level. I can level the trailer up um, so that way the tent's level for for him to sleep in. And then we also put a. Um, 89 bucks guys you've seen it in my past videos regarding awnings and stuff king's awnings they're crap but they're awesome like you can't go wrong for 89 dollars so got all the poles and everything in there it's also got all the pegs and everything you need so just stuck one of them on the side with those brackets that i made so yeah all uh all good all come together but it looks pretty cool i think Looks pretty sweet. Just a cool little camper trailer for the kids. So, and I think all up it's probably cost me, the trailer was like 800, the tent was like 700. Um, my time, the steel, I think it was about $145 worth of steel to make the racks. And the rego was about 200 bucks. I think the hitch was like 60 bucks. So, yeah. For probably a couple of grand you've got a really cool little trailer there to for the kids to sleep in and to cart some more gear so you got more payload and stuff when you're camping so I think she's uh, pretty sweet anyway um, like I mentioned before in the description I'll put a link to Australian frontline machinery if you're interested in getting one of these trailers so yeah just check those guys out for when their next auctions coming up but yeah let me know what you think of the little military trailer camper trailer in the description and I'll uh, see you guys in the next video. Catches.